He loved to make you laugh. He was a very rambunctious, outgoing, and loved to make people laugh, and always had a smile on his face. He had a cold that he couldn't get rid of, just a, just a, just a normal cold that he just could not get rid of, and just mostly fatigued, just tired all the time. October 23rd of last year, I was diagnosed with uh, leukemia, AML. What went through your mind when they told you about leukemia? Just like, nah, it couldn't be me. Just cause like, I, I don't know nobody with leukemia or nothing like that. I never seen anybody with leukemia or, or even like, I heard about it, but not somebody close to me. I'll get sick and then have to come back and they'll give me more chemo to see like, cause it will show that all the leukemia wasn't gone, so they'll give me more chemo. It put it in remission temporarily, but then it came out of remission, and then from then on, he went through at least three more rounds of chemo, but none of them worked. I don't know how many units or blood, how many plate units of platelets or blood I, I received. Wow. It's been a lot. Platelets, I probably received twice a week, because I go to the, the cancer center uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so probably Two times out of the week, I probably need platelets. And then every two weeks, I probably need blood. We would have the blood drive and at work and the blood mobile, and you would hear about it, and you'd be like, OK. But now, it's like the last, they came to my job a couple weeks ago, and I was the advocate for people going out there to get blood. I was like going around to everybody's desk. Did you go get blood? Did you go get blood? It's through this donation that we learned Fit Club member Amy Borman's blood could be used by Terrell. Doctors said this blood would give him more time while the search for a bone marrow match continued. She's just another person that saved my life. They literally kept him alive because at the end, he was getting blood and platelets at least once a week. He was going to the doctor three times a week to get his blood and his platelets checked. And he would get transfused at least once a week with blood and platelets. There's still leukemia there. And that's why my platelets dropped so fast. I didn't even know what platelets was. But, and I never realized about how important it was to donate blood until, I, until now. Like, people never know until you need it. Um, what would you like to say to those people who donated blood that you received? I thank you, and like, don't stop. Do it for, not just for me, for everybody. And encourage more people and more people to do it. He was looking forward to his 21st birthday, and then it just happens he was in the hospital on the 21st birthday, and actually got discharged on the 21st birthday. But when Bo Outlaw and the two the Magic Dancers came out there to see him, there you go, he's smiling now. There you go. He said even after that, he was like, "That's the best birthday I've ever had." Look at that man! Ooh, I should be a. Uh, That's a big old uh, uh, cut. Cake cut. Hello. Hello? Do you know who that is? You don't know that voice? No. Say something else. What's up? Hello? Who is this? Hello, you don't know Dwight Howard? <laughs> Dwight? Yeah. <laughs> that guy that's in your picture right there. Oh, what's up? <laughs> you gotta forgive him. He a little nervous up there. We were trying to dance, and he didn't want to dance. Oh, he didn't want to dance. Hey, man, tell him to go and bring to the stage land. Oh, yeah, 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 do the stage land. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm gonna uh, I'm do my Dougie. Do your Dougie? Do my Dougie. Do the Dougie. Come on, do the Dougie. Let's see, do the Dougie. I do a Dougie with you, come on. You would never know that he was sick because he never showed it. He never, unless he was in the hospital, even then sometimes you would not think. You would go to visit him at the hospital, you would hear what he had, you would hear, you know, the symptoms, but then you go to the hospital to see him and he was upbeat, you know, just watching TV and just being the clown that he loved to be. You know that guy? Oh, you gonna reach for that quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this is? A football? <laughs> oh, you, he, look, he take these immediately. When was the last time you were able to play basketball? It's been a while. It's been a long time. He was really excited about it his 21st birthday. Even though he was in the hospital and on the day of his birthday is when they released him and told him he had six months to live. But he still, he did not let that phase him. He, he enjoyed his birthday. What is your prognosis now? I have no clue. I'm just, I'm leaving day by day now, right now. Until I find out something. They didn't have any cure for him and 
and pretty much when they gave him the, they gave him six months to live. You know, we pretty, we were like, no, we're gonna fight this. We're gonna, that's not true. That's not gonna happen. I need a um a donor for a bone marrow transplant. We had a lot of people that did come up and tell us that hey, we want to get tested to be a match. It's a wonderful opportunity to get educate the public and uh, increase public awareness that uh, someone like Terrell has a bad type of leukemia and without a finding a bone marrow donor, really, the chances of him making it through this is going to be next to impossible. At the very beginning that they um, said that he possibly could be a bone marrow candidate, that he would, you know, a bone marrow transplant, but we couldn't find a match. He had faith that a bone marrow match would come in time to save his life, but one-year-old Terrell Wilson died this morning waiting for the right donor to come forward. For minority, minorities in particular, it's difficult to get a bone marrow or a blood stem cell donor, bone marrow donor, uh, because uh, of the ethnicity. The sort of beautiful thing about such a sad event is that he wanted to use his life as an inspiration for others. He, he really did, and you know, Laura, when you looked at him and you saw him in that video, when I, I spoke to him and talked to him lately, you wouldn't have known he was sick, unbelievable. And when Terrell Wilson's mom called me this morning to tell me he had passed, I really couldn't believe it. I mean, he had his whole life in front of him, and if bone marrow donor who matched Terrell's blood type could have come forward, it may have saved his life. This was the day before he died. Yeah, this was the day. He was a terrific, great kid, and his spirit really inspired me, and he just never gave up and uh, wanted that message to go out to everyone. And you know, for any parent that's ever lost a child out there, a lot of times you see they don't want their children's death to go to be in vain. No. They'll often start foundations, certain things. Well, in this case, maybe he'll inspire someone to donate blood or platelets and save someone else's life. I hope so. Get so out and do it, So we appreciate please. you doing that. Go out there and get on the registry because it, it does save lives, and it would have possibly could have saved him if he would have had a match. When I do when I do leave this earth, I still want people to donate. I don't want people to just stop at all.